So, how to delete the recovery partition on your Windows 8.1 tablet, which may only have 32 or 64 gigs of internal storage. Um, the very important thing before you start is that you must have a recovery drive with the recovery partition on it. Now you can do that on a USB stick, but what I've got here is the My Digital uh, SSD OTG drive which is an SSD hard drive, it's not a flash drive, it's, a, it's an SSD based hard drive, it looks like a hard drive and it's been partitioned so that I've got a recovery image on here and for the purposes of this test, because I've never done this before, I've also got a complete disk image on here which I've already tested. So, we've got the Toshiba WT8 here, I've got it fully charged, it's important that you have a good level of charge, I would recommend at least 20% but probably 50% if you haven't tried anything like this before. And you'll also need the adapter, micro USB to normal USB there. So on this device, we've got a 64 gig drive, a 31.3 gigs free. And I just wanna show you how that drive is partitioned. If we just push that down there and we go to disk management, you should see in a second how that drive is partitioned and you'll see what well, we've got uh, this five gigabyte partition on the right here is the recovery drive there's also uh, boot sectors and stuff like that but there's the main there's the main uh, storage and there's a recovery drive so you're going to gain five point what is that five point three four gigabytes of storage if you delete that space now there's a little chicken and egg trick uh, problem here we've got with the hard drive. When you create a file image you have to do it on an external hard drive, you can't do it on a USB stick. When you create a recovery drive it deletes all the partitions on the connected drive, be that USB or a hard drive. So the only way you can get everything onto one disk, and you might want to do that so that you have everything kind of in one place and I think these mini uh, SSD drives are perfect for this. You have to do the complete image backup, copy that off onto um, your laptop or something else, then create the recovery partition which deletes all the backup and then you <laughs> then you have to create a partition, second partition on this uh, and then copy back the complete disk image. So it's a little bit um, round the houses just to get everything on one disk, but um, let's just quickly show you the processes you'll do. Right, to create the file, uh, sorry, disk image, you go to file history. Oops. File history. It will then search for connected drives. You have to have a drive. You can't have a USB flash storage for this process. So you'll have a drive connected. You might have to have external power. And down on the bottom left here it says system image backup. I hope you can see that. And we'll have to quickly put that in focus. System image backup. Go to system image backup. Choose the volume that you're going to use. And I'm going to use a new volume that's free on this drive and then you simply say next you want all those partitions saved and then it says you have chosen to back up drive C which is encrypted it will be decrypted if you're using BitLocker and then go for it. That process on a fast uh, SSD or a fast drive uh, it doesn't need to be too fast, 40 or 50 megabytes a second is only going to take you about 15 minutes. We're about five minutes into the process here. So that's the disk image uh, complete there. Now we're going to take this drive and we're going to copy the disk image files onto a laptop so that we can store those and bring them back afterwards. So I'm just copying the file image over to my laptop here and after I've created the recovery drive partition which deletes 
the other files on this drive, I'll copy that uh, file or disk image back onto the SSD so I've got everything in one place. So back to the tablet and now we're going to create the recovery drive. At the end of this process we will have scrubbed everything off this drive, installed a recovery drive and we'll get the option to delete the recovery partition from the internal drive. So we want to select copy the recovery partition as well as the boot stuff. That's going to go ahead, it doesn't take too long, five minutes or so. <clears throat> On this drive we've got a couple of partitions, it's showing both partitions um, but it's going to delete both partitions anyway. So whatever you've got on a partition drive is going to be deleted. And there's the warning. And there we go. We're just going to take a few minutes to create that recovery partition. So the recovery partition has been created. And here is the option down here. Delete the recovery partition. Now this is the fun bit. Let's delete the recovery partition and see what happens. It's been deleted. Right, now we're going to go to Manage. So, this PC, right click, go to Manage, go to the Disk Manager, and have a look, see what's happened to that partition. It's gone. So, now we've got um, the extra 5 gigs added to the C drive. There's no longer a recovery partition. So of course what we need to do now is to check that this drive works as a recovery drive. And I'll recover it to standard factory settings and then because I've got the original image I can just restore the image as well. So let's go for shutting this down and see if we can boot from the um, hard drive. I'm going to assume there's no operating system on this and I'll show you how to boot it from cold start. So this applies to most of the Windows 8.1 Bay Trail tablets. If you want to boot into the UEFI uh, recovery mode, you press power and volume up at the same time until you get the UEFI menu like that. Now the menus are slightly different on the different devices. What we're going to do here is choose USB memory and we're going to boot from the SSD drive. It takes about 50, uh, 30, to 30 seconds to a minute to get into the uh, recovery mode. You should recognize the, the UI. So let's just wait for that to come and I'll walk you through the recovery process. Right, we've got a German uh, build here so we're going to choose German keyboard and you'll see some of the uh, menu items are slightly different, different language. So what we're going to go to uh, problem handling, that's uh, solve problems. And then we're going to go to further options, invited to option. And what we're going to do is, um, where's the Wiederherstellung? So this is uh, to start, yeah, this is actually to start with a, um, I have to translate, sorry. This is to start with the file image, and this is to, to reset of the original original partition that should be coming from this drive. Now I've got a BitLocker encrypted drive here so I need now need to go to live.com get my key and uh, enter that. There's a big long key. I'll enter that and then we'll uh, take it further. So we've gone through the BitLocker setup. Of course we're uh, in German here but um, if we go to yeah, so it's third option down, Problembehandlung, and then you can see Original Einstellung Wiederherstellen, that means restore to the original uh, settings. So, we don't have recovery partition on this drive, so it should find it on the C drive, let's see. Some activity on the SSD. Right, all your personal data will be removed. Your PC will, uh, um, settings will be set off uh, on the standard, uh, set back to the standard settings. You're going to lose all your data. I think that's pretty clear. Um, right, do we want to repartition the original drive? 
Now, is this going to restore the restore partition as well? You've got the option to leave it as it is. So let's just see if we can restore the restore partition. Right. Do we want to do a full clean? So this is a, a data wipe, a data sanitize. Now, in terms of security, don't know how sanitized it would be, um, but it's certainly a lot better than just sort of clearing the... Um, Clearing the references to the files out of the database, this one actually cleans the files as well. I'm just going to um, take the, the quick option, which is to just remove data rather than clean the disk. So now we can get Kanslowski, and now we can start. Zurücksetzen means start. So here we go. I guess that's going to take a few minutes, and then you can see underneath it's already started. We're at one percent. So recovery appears to have worked. Uh, I'm going to go in now and uh, make sure that the uh, partitioning is as we expected. So there's the internal drive there and you can see the 5.54 gigabyte recovery partition has been restored. So that recovery restore now restores this device back to what you could probably call a saleable condition. Interestingly enough, because it was an encrypted drive before, because I didn't wipe the drive, it's probably pretty well sanitized. The only thing to remember is that BitLocker on Windows 8 tablets uh, does um, encryption only on the files that are being, sorry, that are already on the drive. So if you have a drive which wasn't, wasn't encrypted, you clean it, not that you don't clean it, you quick format it, leaving all the file segments around but just taking away the references to those in the file uh, database you are left with parts of the drive that are still unencrypted so be careful if you've taken a fresh drive and you always have used it as an encrypted drive the chances are it'll be well sanitized once you do the restore process you don't have to do a full wipe so it's a quick way to do a, a sanitized disk wipe that's for those of you that are kind of worried about security when you sell your devices so there's two more things I want to say. If you're using an external drive like this, it would be a really good idea just to restore that uh, partition there. We're going to put uh, that back to an NTFS partition, take all the defaults, and copy the uh, file, sorry, the disk image to that partition. So then you have a recovery uh, boot disk, recovery partition, and then a full, whoops, full disk image on that one. Disk image. Take the disk image, when you're happy you've got a stable system. Um, and the last thing I'll say is that these devices are coming with McAfee Live Safe, Live Safe, and the performance penalty on that is quite significant. If you're happy and you need to consider that this option is slightly less um, antivirus secure than the McAfee solution, switch off McAfee deinstall it and run um, Windows Defender, Microsoft Defender, which is the built-in antivirus and firewall system with Windows 8.1. Slightly improved over Windows 8 because it does some network tracking now, uh, but it has to be said, it is not the best antivirus solution on the market. It might cover you for about, yeah, it's said to cover for about 80 to 90% of day one, um, of day one exploits. Uh, but that leaves 10% that are not covered, and many of the top solutions today will cover nearly 100% of day one exploits. So bear that in mind. For me, I take off McAfee. I have no problem with using Defender. It's much more transparent, improves the performance of my PC. I just have to be very careful about what I download. And I'm doing a, very, uh, a fair bit of stuff also to ensure that, uh, for example, things like Smart Screen are turned on. Um, I use Internet Explorer a lot in the modern browser, which is slightly more secure, it's sandboxed, and it uses smart filter as well. So just bear that in mind. That's my thought rather than recommendation. So just to summarize there, I've shown you how to do a recovery partition to an external hard disk drive. Um, uh, sorry, external, can be an external USB drive for the recovery partition and boot drive. Uh, but it needs to be a disk drive for um, a f disk image copy.
two different things. There's a special order you need to do those in if you want to get them both on the same hard drive, but it does work. Uh, I've showed you how to boot into the recovery options and restore from recovery uh, partition after deleting it from the hard drive. So you save yourself five odd gigs of hard drive space. I hope that was clear. There will be an accompanying article for this on umpcportal.com with some images and some text that I hope helps you through. But if you've got questions, don't hesitate to ask underneath. Um, stay tuned to umpcportal.com for a big security article that's gone up. Um, the date is first week of March 2014, so it's worth looking at that. It's consumer focused, it's Windows 8.1 focused, it's kind of tablet focused as well. Thanks for watching, my name's Chippy at Chippy. Please don't forget to subscribe somewhere down there. You'll get notifications if you set that up of all the new videos and uh, be part of the community. Thanks for watching.